Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm Mega G Wolf, and welcome to a special preview of One Piece Burning Blood. The other week, I was invited down to the Bandai Namco UK offices to get a preview of the new title coming out. So I'm here today to present you with the footage I recorded, as well as uh, talk a bit about the preview, which does mean I'm going to be talking throughout this video, so apologies for those who are just looking for gameplay. Also, special shout out to Bandai Namco for the invitation. Okay, first things first, I wasn't great at the game, so mediocre gameplay is a guarantee here. From what I gather, the save file that I was given was a complete one through the story, so it didn't actually give me any tutorial stuff, so I had to figure things out on my own. But I felt more, more involved that way, it felt more fun to figure things out. And once I did start figuring it out, I was kicking ass. For the most part, there was, there was some times where it didn't go so well. Now, if you're anything like me, your initial impressions of the game would be, it reminds you, it gives you a familiar feeling of the Naruto fighting games. And in a way, you're correct. Though, I definitely feel like this one focuses more on the special, unique moves of the characters. I'm not saying the other one doesn't, I'm just saying this one feels like it gives you more options than just, like, two things to choose from. And every character felt really unique and different and it all depended on like what type of moves they had even what type of devil fruit they had or if they even had a devil fruit to begin with now i did get to play a lot of the characters i didn't get to record them all or play every single one because of certain time restrictions and not restrictions from the event, more restrictions on the fact that my method of capturing the footage actually took a bit of time to transfer the video files over. Again, not totally prepared for events like this just yet, but I'm making the most of what I have available to me, and it worked out in this case. Now, a majority of my time was spent in the versus mode, trying out all the different characters, the moves, the areas to fight in, but they did allow us to also try out the paramount mode, which is basically like the story mode, and plays through a series of battles following the events of the after the two year skip and just a little bit before it plays out in not only the panel like storyboard mode that you're seeing here but these really cool in-game cutscenes which i couldn't show off because they have it set so they can't be recorded ah! and this map you're seeing is just the luffy section before the two year skip there are a lot of missions, and it looks like there are some side stuff as well. I only did the main stuff, so I didn't actually know what those green ones are. Nor did I realize that the clear conditions were survival in this mission, which makes a lot of sense, because I didn't win, yet somehow I still won. It was confusing. But going back to the versus mode, as you can see, there's a lot of characters to choose from. A lot. And a few of them have a few alternate costumes, which is quite nice. Like, some are before the skip, some are after, some are just different colours, I guess. Some I might not know the relevancy, because I am a bit behind on quite a bit of the story of One Piece. But there are a lot of different people to choose from, a lot of different play styles. Uh, whether you like ranged or melee or just crazy powerful moves. And it's a really interesting lineup with a lot of variety. Now, funnily enough, my favorite character was Ace. I think I did the best with him. I figured out a lot of his moves quite early on and a good way to combo into the bigger attacks. You could say that I was on fire. <laughs> Okay, you don't have to say that at all, that's fine. So going back to the combat, when comparing it to other games, like other anime fighters, it definitely, like I said, feels like it's focused a bit more on the special skills than it is the combat. And I'm not saying that it's lacking in the combat, because it's you still have your standard, like, punch, kick, attack, normal combo, but then you have an option of all these other special moves you can use. It feels a bit less flowy than, let's say, Ultimate Ninja Storm 4. In that game, you're like dancing around, jumping and comboing moves into other moves and flowing through the supports and just doing crazy stuff. In this one, it's a little bit slower, it's a little bit more thought out. It's a good idea to like sum up your enemy, dodge and then attack. Which is what I felt like I did with this fight using Ace. I was able to kind of predict. Uh oh. <laughs> Nami was not able to predict that. Jesus, there goes most of her health. Something else all the characters have as well is like a 
I guess uh, the best way to put it would be like an overdrive or like a Super Saiyan kind of mode where you let the special meter fill all the way up, you click a button and then suddenly you're like, I don't know, if you're Luffy for example, you're like fourth gear or second gear depending on which one you're using and you have a few more buffed moves and quicker actions. Overall, it's really cool. I can't wait to get my hands on it again because I really want to try out all sorts of other combinations of characters and such. It's really interesting. All of them are 3v3 battles. You can actually have more in the versus mode. You can technically have it like 9v9. And then once your first three are defeated, it swaps out for the next three. So you can have these huge scale battles. It's really cool. As well as having support characters, which come in when certain conditions are met or you can call them in manually that buff things like your attack, your defense, give you health, do other effects which are either really good for you or like bad for the enemy or like are so good for you that it affects you in a negative way as well like bust your attack to a ridiculous amount at the cost of your defense and so on. It's it's really cool trying to decide what supports and team makeup to go with. It's interesting. All in all, really fun. I, I enjoyed this a lot. And I am terrible with Brook, just so you know. I did not figure out his moveset for the life of me. He like, plays a violin and then he just dies. I don't know. <laughs> it was really enjoyable. I can't wait to play some more. And I will definitely do a follow-up video when the game is officially out. Again, this was a preview build, so I don't know if anything's going to be different from this to the final build. If the Naruto event I went to is any indication, it probably won't be any different. But just to be on the safe side, I will show it off again once the full version is in my grasp. Either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed this special preview of One Piece Burning Blood. I kind of wish I could have done it in a more traditional style, more what you're used to from this channel, like live commentary, but unfortunately I just don't have the money or equipment to be able to do that right now. Hopefully in the future I'll be able to change that though. Do tell me what you think of what you've seen so far, if you've played the demo, and if so, what your thoughts are on what you've seen and the demo as well. I will leave you, for those of you who are interested in just seeing a battle without me talking from start to finish, I have one left over that I can just show you without commentary, so stick around if you're interested in watching that play out. Otherwise, thank you for watching. Tell me what you think, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Okay, thanks. Bye. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
戦国さん今行きますよ<笑>おらカルチザンカルチザンこちらおらおりゃーおりゃー戦国さん